then take a shower, your drawers are crispy. I'm telling you, your drawers are zesty. They are jerk chicken. I'm trying to tell you, your, your drawers are zesty like jerk chicken. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie, and today I have five great tips to keep you and her smelling fresh and clean this spring slash summer season. So if you like any plus size beauty content or fashion content, don't forget to, <laughs> to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is your second video. This is your third video. And you haven't subscribed? I, I'm waiting for an explanation. Please, please leave your explanation. I'm waiting a 10 page paper on why are you not subscribed to my channel? And this is your third video. You know you wanna see more of me. So like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of me and any more of my content. So while I'm waiting for you to subscribe, you guys can go ahead and watch this montage on how I went to Target and pick up some of my day-to-day -day items to keep me nice and fresh. some of the things that I picked up now we can talk about it and discuss the five things that's gonna keep you and her clean okay um, first things first is maintenance so you want to one make sure you're shaving or waxing now let me elaborate some people don't really like to um, wax or shave all the time that's perfectly fine um, but you definitely want to make sure that you are shaving or waxing at least once a month um even a light trim okay that'll be great um just to make sure that there's no hidden bacteria or anything like that um especially if you're not washing properly and you know you miss a few spots and then it's mixed in the hairs marinating you you, you don't you don't want to do that you don't want to be that girl. So making sure that you keep a low grass cut. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it, just keep it low. You don't need to be bald, but you just need to keep it low. Another thing you need to do is also look at her and see um, what does she typically look like. Be familiar of the odor, the shape, the color that it should be. So that way, um, later down the road that something do occur you will be able to respond quickly because you would immediately spot the difference versus waiting to the last minute and honey she's unforgiving if you wait to the last minute so you might not want to do that um and another thing you need to do is get regular checkups i don't know why everybody's so iffy about going to you know an OBGYN, but definitely set an appointment um, if this, if you were thinking about it, this is your sign, girl. Um, you might want to go get her checked out, um, by an actual physician to making sure that everything is running properly, that it's looking pink and looking nice and clean, all that stuff. So definitely do that as well. All right. The second part is washing, <laughs> bathing yourself. Um, and I feel like, I don't know what century this is in or who gave anyone the okay advice to skip out on showers. Um, maybe let's not, let's not, let's not skip out on showers. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't think anybody, anybody, unless you just absolutely don't sweat, don't poop, don't pee. At that point, you're dead. But I mean, if you if you do that, then I mean, I guess you don't need to take a shower twice a day. I mean, I guess. <laughs> but for the normal folks like us, um, 
I highly suggest taking two showers a day, uh, especially at night. Let me just say this. Um, for the folks who don't take a shower at night, I need you to explain your logic. Um, because I don't understand why you think it's okay to literally go through the whole day sweating, pooping, peeing, and then lay down on your sheets, marinating that for another eight hours. Then take a shower. Your drawers are crispy. I'm telling you, your drawers are zesty. They are jerk chicken. I'm trying to tell you, your, your drawers are zesty like jerk chicken. And I don't understand why would you wait till the next morning to take a shower. Not understanding that. I'd rather take a shower at night. Because at night, what are you doing at night? Are you really sweating? Are you doing, are you peeing, pooping? You're not doing anything at night. So you shouldn't smell funky the next morning. But I'm not here to judge. I'm just, I just want someone to explain it to me. But anyway, that's my little rant. Back to the schedule program. So speaking of washing, um, since last time I was talking about maintenance and shaving and things like that, um, they do recommend for you to exfoliate. Um, quote me if I'm wrong, but they do recommend for you to exfoliate um, before you before you shave. And what I like to do is use this beautiful, great company called Raw Sugar. Um, these are to. rude um so what i like to use is um raw sugar <laughs> and this one is in the watermelon and fresh mint i just ran out of the coconut mango but i tell y'all this is the one this is the one i know some people like to use tree hut um which is fine i never really used tree hut I, I heard it smells really good but i just love raw sugar because it's more of on the um you know the non-toxic side, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But I heard raw sugar is really good, you know. All the good ingredients, you know. None of the extra essential oils and all that extra stuff um, that they have. But yeah, this have a lot of great things like, of course, sugar. Um, they have sea oil. They have uh, leaf extract. They have vitamin E, um, aloe, jojoba oil. I mean, come on now. Let's 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 get into it. Um, not only I feel like I am exfoliated, it's doing a job great as an exfoliant, but it will leave your skin feeling um, very much smooth, and it gives a nice, great sheen, like you know, oil like sheen. So it makes your skin look nicely hydrated, and I feel like it does a job in exfoliating. Um, so yeah, this is what I use to exfoliate, and then I will just use this glove that I just got. Um, I needed a new one, so I bought another one. Um, just any exfoliating glove. Um, I wouldn't use exfoliating glove down in my meow meow. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't use it down there. Um, because I just feel like that's too harsh of just, you know, rubbing this sugar scrub and then using exfoliating. That's too much, girl. Like, let's just be nice. Let's be gentle to her. Thank you. Greatly appreciate that. So, yeah, these two together with my body. Made me nice and smooth like a brand new baby. Okay. Um, so, after I exfoliate, I have another product here, which is Raw Sugar. Again, I'm really not a sponsor. I literally genuinely love Raw Sugar. Um, I also have this in the aloe. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's aloe and vanilla bean, I believe. Um, but this is a sensitive skin. So aloe, the aloe one in this one, which is called the Beach Rose Coconut Milk and Shea, um, is part of a sensitive brand, I mean, sensitive line. Uh, so they, there is those two in the sensitive line. But they also have other, I mean, other scents like um, mango. They have the watermelon mint. They have so many good smelling um you know shower gels that makes you smell good and um it don't make me feel dry let's get into that because i feel like um there are a lot of brands that either make me feel 
you know, too moist to the point where I don't feel like I took a shower. Um, I guess it was supposed to be hydrating, but I don't feel like I, I'm clean. It's too soft on my skin to be clean. But then also I had other companies and brands, which I'm not going to mention, um, that leaves my skin dry, like dry and be like water. Like it just be so dry. But this gives me a great balance. Any, um, this and native. Yeah, I really love this, um, body wash. I used to just use it with a rag. Another thing with rags, let's get this clear, folks. Rags are one per use. Not one a day, not three times, not just one. Once you get in the shower, you get one rug. You get in the shower in the afternoon or at night, you get another rag, okay? One rag per use. Say with me, folks. One rag per use, not per day. Now, per week, you use that rag one time to make sure um, that you are being properly clean. Um, speaking of rags, we're not going to get into it. I'm going to skip that part. But um, so this is what I take a shower with to cleanse my body. Um, and then this right here, screenshot this, screenshot it. Thank you. All right. So this right here is the L brand foam wash. They have one with um, when you are on your menstrual um, uh, wash and then they have a daily care one. I just usually stick to the daily care. I really don't have any issues when I'm on my um, menstrual. So this one right here, when I tell you, listen, listen here. This is the bomb.com. If you get anything, actually everything I got is bomb. Everything I got, you need to buy. But um, these, this is bomb, okay? And let me explain why. Let me explain because everybody keeps talking about, oh, the honey pot, the honey pot, the honey pot. We already know Summer Eve is a dub. Um, Vagisil, I used to use Vagisil, but it wasn't like the scented ones. It was just a pH balance one, which had no scent. It was very good. I used to like that one. Um, but this one right here, this is back to Honey Pot. Stay focused. Honey Pot. Uh, I don't, when you read the actual ingredients in Honey Pot, like using vinegar, which is part of like something that to me personally, I feel like is incorporated douching and vinegar is very much. Um, yeah, who want to put vinegar in vagina? I don't know. That's just not me. I'm saying, I'm saying the man's just not mad for me. They have other scents like um, citrus. I'm, I don't believe, I don't remember all the smells, but on top of, you know, the soap that they use, they use some type of oil or extract. And I feel like that's not suitable for your vaginal, vaginal region, which is supposed to be all natural and self-cleaning. This has literally no sense. Um, let's get into how minimal the ingredient list is. Like, can we not see how minimal this ingredient list is? Um, so yeah, and of course I use the L brands when it comes to anything menstrual wise, um, tampons, pads, panty liners, you name it. Uh, I bought this for, I think $9, $8.99. When I tell you this is the bomb.com. I went to four, four Targets, y'all. I, I kid you not. I went to the one in Silver Spring. I went to the one in Columbia. I went to the one in uh, Greenbelt. And then I finally found one in Crofton. I found this and uh, literally were all sold out. That's how bomb it is. It's literally flying off the shelf. So if you see this, get to, because that's what I did. Because once this one gone, I'm going to start going to manhood before this one gets empty. So yeah, I bought two of these. This is how I bomb it is. I would never, I was out of it for about three days, literally crying in the car because I could not find this, um, these washes and I didn't want to wait to order. I don't even know if we could order it, but that's what I have to do to start ordering those. But, um, yeah, these are the bomb.com. Get to, if they're in stock, girl, you better get to and stop lying. But, um, let me show you what it looks like. Out of the box. 
this is what it looks like it's so cute um it's a nice little phone and i feel like the phone does not rinse away like it gives you a nice lather but it's not too soapy um another thing i do want to mention is that you know this don't go in between your vaginal lips just want to keep that crystal clear for you guys um for the folks who did not know there should not be any soap going in between your vaginal um lips you should be using water only in um you you can either use the rag but like i said the rag you want to use only don't wipe don't scrub your whole body and get all the bacteria off your body and then use your rag for your vaginal region you should probably start with that first clean your vaginal region first and then front to back <laughs> And then, you know, get the rest of your body. But anyway, yeah, so this one go inside of your vaginal region. Um, water should be going, in, you know, between the lips and your hands if you want to use it. The OBGYN recommends hands, but make sure your hands are definitely clean before you get down and dirty with that. So that's my vaginal mask that I recommend. Once I get out of the shower to keep me nice and smelling fresh, you name it um raw sugar um lotion okay i feel like these are not in every store either i literally had to go high and low to find this um i could not find the raw sugar in um and this scent which is the beach rose and coconut milk but this one right here this pineapple berry and coconut this purple one chef kiss and it has your skin feeling so moisturized so good you feel so luxurious and you smell so good um uh, right here this dynamic um trio this right this oh man y'all see me struggling this done help me so when it comes down to it, um, this right here is the Holy Trinity to keep me actually smelling fresh and clean and in a more realistic way. Um, I do want to say I'm absolutely in love with the Raw Sugar brand. Um, in addition to that, let's get into not only the aesthetic, um, they do smell good as well, but they're also um, cruelty and vegan free. In addition to that, their price point is pretty great. Um, this is probably the most expensive one, which is runs you about $12. This is a big jug of um, the sugar scrub. And in addition to that, it lasts you a long time. I think my last container that I had, I think it was like two months. It depends if you're heavy handed with it or not, but you don't need to be heavy handed with it at all because it really just does its job and it runs its course. Um, yeah, like I said, and these were, I think this ran about seven dollars, if I'm not mistaken. And then the lotion was probably like eight, eight to nine dollars. So the price point is really good. Um, you know, the aesthetic is there, the smell is there, and not only that, it does its job. This actually exfoliate, actually leave your uh, skin feeling hydrated. Um, this does not um, cause any sensitivity. I don't really have um, sensitive skin, but I have um, dealt with other brands that are, you know, cruelty and vegan free and all natural things like that, which will leave my skin feeling extremely dry, um, which is not typically how my skin is. Like when I used to use Dove or anything like that, I never really had issues with my skin being dry or any um, body acne. Um, but this gives me a beautiful balance of feeling, hey, this is something, you know, natural and it cleans my body and it does not leave my skin extremely dry nor dry at all. Um, I mean, it'll leave your skin dry because, you know, you took a bath, but, you know, took a shower, but not to the point where your skin is cracking or feel like there's irritation. Um, and then, of course, after you do that, you will lotion up with this. Oh, I want to tell you, you smell so good. You feel, give you that nice, luxurious feeling. Makes your skin feel really soft. And not only that, let's get into how this is 25% um, post-recycled, I mean, plastic. So let's, 
Come on now, they're doing their due diligence, okay? Let's give credit where it's due, and that is to Raw Sugar. I am not sponsored by Raw Sugar. I am just a diehard fan of Raw Sugar. And let me just go ahead and manifest this right now. Raw Sugar, call me, okay? I would love to do a partnership um, with you guys. So, let's get back to what I need to talk about. All right, <clears throat> so after I lotion my body, it's called deodorant. Um, I will, I need to try the raw sugar, um, the raw sugar deodorant, but I feel like this is not a time to be alive. <laughs> I, I would try that more into the fall season where your girl is not plus size and fat and running, sweating. But, um, so yeah, then I dry myself with, um, deodorant. Um, so you know, it's deodorant. Make sure your deodorant works and make sure you shave your underarms. It's that simple. Um, do not, I repeat, do not um, sweat and you smell yourself like, you know, you smell, you know, a little cold cut subish, you know, straight out of Subway. That's fine. Um, please do not reapply deodorant. Um, let me elaborate. Do not reapply. You can reapply deodorant, but make sure your base is clean. Make sure you do a little whole bath or something like that or take a shower um, and then apply the deodorant, okay? Because it's, it's not doing much for you, same. And if you catch yourself constantly um, reapplying deodorant, that means the deodorant is not working for you, sink. So, oh, no pun intended. <laughs> So it's not working for you. So you might want to find a stronger deodorant. Maybe you need to go to the men's section um, and apply deodorant. So another thing I do want to mention um, is once you put lotion on and you put your underwear on, okay, um, I'm going to recommend this. And, you know, some people may not agree with me, which is fine. Um, you can use another type of spray deodorant. Um, for your bikini line area um, just to make sure because that's where it really sweats honestly if you look at your drawers it's like literally that your bikini line area is what sweats because you know thick thighs do save lives and no good deed goes unpunished so typically around your panty line your panty line is where um well your bikini line is where you typically sweat. So if you want to just do a little quick spray, definitely have your underwear on so that way none of the chemicals are, you know, you're not spraying. You won't go with this. Another thing that you need to do to keep yourself nice and smelling fresh um, is to stay hydrated with water. Um, it doesn't matter if you are, you know, a fancy person, you want alkaline water, honey, that's, that's a vegan, I don't care. Um, but yeah, make sure you're drinking water throughout the day. Um, I try to make sure I get three bottles of water. You're supposed to drink more than that, but I'm going to be realistic. This is a, re a realistic um, maintenance. I said, um, this is a realistic because people like drink 10 gallons of water. Like, girl, ain't doing it. <laughs> so I usually say drink about three um, bottles of water a day, one in the morning, one like, you know, three, four o'clock in between lunch and dinner. And then I will usually drink a bottle of water right before I go to sleep um, just to make sure I stay hydrated. Um, yeah, so definitely that any water to clean your body out and things like that to get all the toxins. And then another thing I want to mention is the last tip, which is in between washes. Um, another thing you saw me pick up at Target was this right here. Um, down there wipes. Now, let me tell you, um, Kyra put me on to this. I watched on her vlogs. Was it vlogs or was it a feminine? I don't know. But anyway, I watched one of her videos. And she recommend these wipes. Now, let me tell you why these wipes are the bomb.com, okay? And why you need to pick this up immediately. So, um, we all know that you need to wipe front to back when you are using a bathroom. Um, but you also need to make sure that you are using some type of 
body wipe, whether that's a Charmin wipe or um, a baby wipe or these. The reason why um, wipes are so important in your day-to-day -day hygiene is because you need to maintain um, that clean area, all right? The reason why nine times out of 10, you are smell, you smell some type of odor um, is because you're not maintaining the cleanliness that you have, you know, all the hard work you don't put in, you're not maintaining it throughout the day. So um, whether that's Charmin wipes, um, baby wipes or these, you need some type of wipe to make sure that you are cleaning excess one um, bowel movement in addition to urine as well because for the folks who do not shave all the time even with the sh folks who do get their self shaved and waxed um when you pee it don't directly just go straight to the toilet it touched some lip parts it touched you know I mean? it depends how you're sitting um you know what i'm saying like it touched Pee gets all over your, your vaginal region, okay? Not all over like it's messy, but it does touch other parts of your vaginal region. And um, just taking a, a toilet paper is not going to clean it significantly enough. Um, so that's why your drawers probably smell pissy and that's why you got skip marks in your drawers because you just refuse not to use a wipe. Um, the reason why uh, I enjoy, the reason why, I mean, before I get to why I enjoy these wipes, let's talk about why I don't like the other options that I recommend, which is Charmin and um, Baby Wipes. So Charmin, yes, um, Charmin is a good set of wipes for your derriere, for your butt when you poop, but for your vaginal region, I don't know something about the chemicals that they use, I, I don't approve of them. And then baby wipes, yes, they're good for your vaginal region and your butt, but you can't flush them. <laughs> so, um, especially when you're going places, you know, someone's home, you don't want to be taking a doo-doo and then wiping your butt and skin marks on the wipes and dumping it in their trash can. Ew. So, um, and you cannot flush them. So, they're kind of like pointless to me. Like, what can you really do with those wipes? But this one right here, it takes care of your front. It's good for your vaginal region. It's good for your booty hole. And it goes down the drain. Can we, I mean, down the um, toilet. So these are uh, flushable, the, uh, biodegradable uh, wipes. And they're pH balanced. Can we get a little commotion, please? A little, a little excitement. Um, so yeah, I have, I keep this one, uh, these, I have like four of these in my bathroom, um, just lined up and it comes with a little box so you can stand up just like this. Okay. Um, so yeah, so these are great for my bathroom and then I have like 60 of these, um, 60 of these <laughs> cause I buy so many of them. Um, so they come, I think 20 in a box and literally you can throw these in your purse, backpack, anything like that. So whenever you are out and about there's no reason to not wipe your butt with wipes um and let's get into the price point um i believe these are like three two three dollars and these for the 20 pack are like two to three dollars as well when i went to target today i did saw um the feminine wash i'm gonna test it out but i'm really in love with the l brand so i'm not gonna test that out i'm gonna stick to what i know but I definitely want to say you guys definitely need to pick these up because literally I cannot find any biodegradable wipes. And let me tell you about the other companies like um, Honey Pot and things like that. Their wipes are ridiculous. Like the price of them is, is, is just too much. I'm like, it's going down the drain. Literally, I'm throwing my money in the drain. But um, yeah, these are really great. I have not experienced any irritation from these wipes. Um, so, and I've been using these wipes for like two to three months. Like since I saw that video, I've been using it. I put it on, my, my friend loves them. Um, so yeah, get you one of these, girl. These are bomb. So, now that we to discuss how to keep our underarms smelling good, our vaginal region smelling good, um, 
And I don't know if I did touch base on this, but if I didn't, make sure you wash your feet. And make sure you use um, different socks every single day. You should not be reusing socks, okay? It's not that deep. Um, so after you took a shower, get yourself nicely moisturized, you got your deodorant on, um, you know, and you're wearing cotton panties, right? Cotton lined panties, ladies. Yeah, talking to you, silk press. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Um, make sure you are using um, cotton. I don't even know why I'm discussing this. A rational this by now. But uh, yeah, um, time out. Um, now that you have successfully um, got yourself nicely washed and clean and wearing your cotton line panties um, and your feet is washed and you put a brand new pair of socks on your feet. That's why y'all feet probably be smelling because you don't, okay, sit, focus, focus. Um, so after you've done that, I like to finish with um, some perfume. So my favorite so far right now is this Burberry. Um, I don't remember the name of this Burberry, but I will leave it down um, in links below. And then I also like this Sun Dust um, Kiss perfume. So... For the girls who don't really have the high-end money um, for luxury, mm. so for the girls who don't have, you know, the money for luxury brand perfumes, that's perfectly fine. Um, I don't recommend using Bath & Body Works. Honestly, truly, you spray it, five minutes later, the scent is gone. So at this point, you're just throwing your money out the window. Um, throwing your money in the wind, literally. Um, so what you can do is go to Marshall's, or TJ Maxx, they, this is this is the one I got from TJ, no, I got from Marshalls. They have some actual perfume. Um, they're not body mist, they're perfumes. And, you know, it lasts a little bit longer and they smell so good. This has like a um, musky scent and it smells so good. Mm, it smells so good. So usually, um, these are my two scents as of right now. And what I've been wearing is this Burberry and then the, the Stardust Kiss. So, you know, just do doop, 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 just no more than five sprays. And this will last me a good amount of time. Um, so, like I said, if you can't go to the luxury brand side, just go ahead and hit up Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I think Ross has some too. Um, perfumes that are not body mist. They're perfumes. Um, and then... Marshall actually has them have some perfume that's not in those um, box, the little anti-theft box. So typically I go towards those so I can actually smell the scents. Um, so that's another perk as well. And they're cheap. I got this for like 10 bucks. So, and it smells really good. It lasts me a pretty decent amount of time. It's not all day, but it lasts longer than Bath & Body Works. I said what I said. All right, so that completes today's video. Um, I hope you learned a few things. If not, I hope you saw some items that you would like to purchase. Um, so yeah, definitely go cop some raw sugar items. Also the L brand vaginal wipes. And if not anything else, if not anything else, get these wipes. They're like two, three dollars. Just try them, try them. But with that being said, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it does numbers for me, and I really appreciate it. Um, until next time, bye.